Hi everyone, welcome back to my garage. Today we're going to install some RX-8 pedals on my NC Miata. Okay, we are in the foot well. So as you can see here, we have the foot rest, the clutch pedal, brake pedal, and accelerator pedal. Uh, for the, the foot rest and accelerator pedal, we'll remove those and do the installation with it out of the car. And then the clutch pedal and brake pedal will just peel these off and then we'll do the install while the pedals are still attached. For the clutch pedal and brake pedal, the easiest thing to do is just to start off in one lower corner and then we can just peel that off. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. Okay, there you have it. Now that we have these out, let's just take a closer look at the pedal covers themselves and how they compare to the RX-8 ones. Um, if you flip them over, you see that they'll actually be numbered. This one actually says four, and then this one says seven. Um, I think the, the lower number one is gonna be for your clutch, and then the higher number one is gonna be for your brake. Same thing goes for the RX-8 pedals, but they're numbered differently. This one, the RX-8 clutch is labeled one, and the brake pedal is labeled two. Uh, one thing I will take note of is that the rubber on the OEM ones are much softer compared to the RX-8 with the, with the aluminum covers. These are going to be uh, a lot more stiff, so it's going to take a little bit more force for us to, to get them on. So be prepared for that. Okay, to soften up the rubbers, the best thing to do is just to get some boiling hot water and soaking the clutch pedal and the brake pedal for about five minutes. I removed it a little bit early and I went ahead and put some dish soap in the back, made sure I got it all around the corners. And then we'll use a microfiber towel to get some grip while we install it. Okay, we have the two pedals installed now. Um, I tried to get some footage of the installation, but my elbow kept on getting in the way. Uh, but I wanna bring you back up here and we could talk about the technique that I used. So once the rubber has softened by uh, dunking it in the hot water and then greasing it up using dish soap, we want to essentially start at the top. So try to slide the sleeves on the two top corners and then you'll want to start pulling down on the on the pedal cover itself using the microfiber rag so that gives you enough grip and then just move it back and forth while you're pulling down on it and then hopefully that will get the two rubber sleeves on the sides um, over the metal parts and then you'll just be left with the bottom piece so that's kind of where you'll want to use a little bit of brute strength and pull as hard as you can and the the bottom sleeve will just pop right over the the metal part now we're going to go ahead and remove the gas pedal in order for us to do that we need to undo that 10 millimeter bolt right there and then there is a wiring harness that connects to the entire pedal assembly that we'll need to unfasten and then behind that is a 10 millimeter nut that we'll have to undo as well. Uh, it's gonna be pretty tight in here and I won't be able to get any good camera angles. So I'll meet you back once we have the pedal removed. Uh, there's a fun fact I'd like to share with folks is that this is pretty much identical to the RX-8 version and they're actually interchangeable. If you're lucky enough, you might find some 
uh, pedal covers that are available on eBay where they actually give you the original RX-8 assembly. Or if you're looking for these at a junkyard, don't try to remove the, the pedal cover from the pedal itself. Just take the entire assembly because uh, it's actually, I mean, other than saving you time, the, the holes are pre-drilled and they actually have these sleeve reinforcements in the pedal itself, so it's gonna be a lot stronger. Um, okay, let's take a closer look at the pedal cover itself. Um, if you take a closer look, you can see that there is some reliefs on the back side of the cover. And what that means is that we're gonna to have to drill out some reliefs in the pedal assembly itself because if you were just to lay it on top you would see that it doesn't sit flush so there's a bit of a gap there so um, the best thing to do is just to put the pedal cover on here pre-mark your holes and then we're going to use a Forstner bit to uh, drill out the release and then we'll use a regular drill bit to uh, pierce through the rest of the pedal. This is what the Forstner bit looks like. I ended up using the half inch size and off camera I went ahead and drilled out the holes. So if I did everything correctly we can put the pedal cover on and we'll see that it is now nice and flush. All right, we are in the home stretch. Uh, the last thing we need to do is install the pedal cover on the footrest. We can just remove this screw and this should just pop right out. Let's take a look at the RX-8 footrest compared to the one that we just pulled out. The most obvious thing is that this is a little bit taller and it has two uh, bolt holes here and the Miata only has one. Um, so when we do install it, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit taller at the top than what we have on the Miata, but that should be fine. Um, in order to remove this, these are rivets and we'll have to drill these out and then drill our holes here and then install new rivets. Just like that, we're done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.